For more than 100 years, pitchers have used something or other to gain an advantage, but now Major League Baseball has deemed whatever gunk they're using is too much for hitters to handle. With the help of DST and Tomball, I put each of the substances to the test. This past Monday, Major League Baseball rolled out the sticky substance check. It started with Jacob deGrom. So they check deGrom. It elevated with Max Scherzer. It reached its peak with Sergio Romo dropping his pants. A, a little bit heated there. And finally resulted in the ejection of Hector Santiago. Major League Baseball adding a new rule and procedure in the middle of the season has upset or annoyed pretty much everyone. But why was it so necessary to get this change in immediately? Is the sticky stuff the league is so afraid of really that effective? We tested it. So I'm going to throw some balls clean, nothing on my hands. We're we're gonna go to the rosin. We're gonna mix rosin with sunscreen. We're gonna go to pine tar. And then finally, I don't even wanna to touch it because it's so sticky. We're gonna see what spider tack does with my spin rate and velocity. Why am I testing it? Well, it's one thing for a major leaguer who knows how to perfect spin to show how the stats work. It's another when the sticky stuff affects someone who hasn't thrown competitively since high school. Yes, the Puka Shell necklace added at least three miles an hour of velo. The test, three fastballs, three curveballs with each substance, and then we check the numbers with the help of Kevin Poppy at Dynamic Sports Training. First one clean, I have nothing on my hands. So let's see what we can do with the fastball here. Oh, so right there, you're looking at 68.4 miles per hour, 1700 RPMs. 99% spin efficiency, so it's true backspin. 69.1, 1,500 RPM. So our baseline is about 1,600 RPM clean. Now for clean curveballs. Oh, God, that's a home run. Got the top of the zone. That's a home run. 56.8 miles per hour, 1,700 RPM. Baseline, again, is going to be around 1,600 RPM. Slick, you know? Now, rosin only. Oh! 70.4. Uh, 1700 so before we're 15 to 17 pretty spin much rate slightly up but not much rosin with sunscreen that's what that's got a little yeah, yeah. there you go <laughs> controls a little better right? right yeah you actually feel like you can grip that one now. yeah right? the spin rate still hasn't changed too much now to pine tar where it's so sticky i can hang the baseball from just my fingers 1688. Again, not much difference in spin oh. rate, but my control and grip is better. Some finger. of the baseball came off of my finger. Yeah, <laughs> that'll happen. Hand wash break. Let's not give spider tack any more help. Oh my god. <laughs> it's super glue, basically. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's definitely an art to it. Make an adjustment. There we go. Oh. 1900. So my spin rate just jumped up 300 RPMs. Now the curveball. Maybe. 2000. <laughs> 2000 RPMs. Yeah. So nothing much happens until spider tack, which makes a huge difference. About 25% increase in spin rate near immediately. You can see why baseball is making such a big deal about it. I was very surprised. So my thoughts after testing each of these things, I've never touched spider tack in my life, an instant increase. So let them use the rosin and sunscreen mix, <laughs> ban the spider tack, problem solved. But the real issue, when you touch one of these baseballs, the ones that major leaguers use, the seams on the ball are way too flat. It is genuinely hard to get a grip on the ball. Future Sugarland Skeeters pitcher, Ari Alexander. <laughs> Warm him up in the pin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys.